Welcome to Fate, guys. If you're not familiar with the channel, all we do is talk about counterfeit stuff. We talk about scams. We talk about fake stuff. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Sheen because this has been hitting the headlines. And I thought, of course, I would go over it as it applies to my channel. And talking about Sheen, this camera is making me look extremely tan. And I don't know why. Let's continue. Okay, so here's the whole story. So Sheen is a company that makes very fast fashion clothing at a cost, which the cost is very low in the sense of buying it. However, the cost is very high when you're talking about terrible labor practices. For example, they were hit with an expose showing that they were working up to 18 hour days and were given only one day off a month. So I guess in one factory, the outlet found women washing their hair during their lunch breaks and workers were penalized two thirds of their daily wage if they made any sort of mistake at all. Now, conveniently, all of the influencers were brought to the Singapore headquarters that looks just like this. Now, this one does not look like the 5,999 other factories that exist out there. And I say this because this is all publicly available. There's about 6,000 clothing factories in China under Sheen's label. Now, not all of them are under fire for their labor practices, but the majority of them are. And that's why this entire visit from the influencers seemed so propagandist, because of course they would bring them to the nicest one, answer a few questions, debunk some of the myths, and send them on their way. I'd say it kind of reminds me of James Franco finding out that the fruit was fake in North Korea in the interview. So in the comments below, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Obviously, this was a publicity stunt to save face, and they kind of roped in some influencers in the process, which it seems like they're the ones getting a lot of the backlash, which I get it. It's exciting to get brand deals. However, you need to do your own research when you walk into programs like this or getting some sort of brand deal because you become the face of that brand. And a lot of these people were saying they were doing investigative journalism but they really weren't because they were invited in. There was not going to be any sort of expose happening here at all. They were simply just pawns in Sheen's plan to save face. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.